Hey, and welcome back to Chuck's Tuesday Tips. After our glue mess, we're finally ready to progress on and finish this deer head we've been working on the last month. So, as you recall, I put all kinds of pins and everything in, uh, um, and cards and everything to hold everything in place while it's drying. So, what we're going to just do is start going ahead and pull all our pins out. And, um, start getting this this guy ready to put some paint on it now, I don't know if we'll get all the way to the paint in this episode but um, we'll definitely get it ready for paint so it really doesn't take a super long time to pull out these pins as a lot of people think when you put them in usually takes me around half hour finish a deer head so anyhow we'll just keep doing this and boy before that pin gun you used to have to put them all in by hand so it's kind of boring I guess but oh well it's all part of the deal if you don't can't be patient you can't do taxidermy that's for sure yeah I have to have that ability to have delayed gratification huh let's a couple in the front here I couldn't see Turn my hands over, double check, the pins are out. Now I'll take these ones out. From the cards. I usually save my pins if they're not too bent. If they're bent, I just get rid of them. didn't do on when I was mounting it I don't know if I staple this card up the seam up or not but we card the seam to keep it um, from pulling apart during the drying process so we'll pull this card off really good so basically you get the idea everything that you put on you take off brush it out it's gonna look a lot prettier boy this one's strength of a thousand checks got it had to call on my superpowers I'm only allowed to use them for good though call on my superpower again got it Okay, get rid of these. This is how we got our ears so nice and thin. It starts to come together.
pain in the butt. Okay, get rid of that little tag. Bam. Now, just gotta pull our pins out of our eyes. Where we put in our five pins. We might have to, this one kind of puckered up on us. But that's okay, because I'll go back to it in a second. I'll get these out first. All these staples we put in on our ear. Need some room here. Sorry, faithful assistant. So we counted our staples so we know how many to take out. Usually uh, 12 to 13. Around the edge and then plus the inner ear ones. three so those are out oh I see one I missed here and we'll come back in here dig out our top pin we won't worry about this this is what the putty's for to fix these little imperfections like right here So that's out, and we'll take our nose thingy out. Which I got in there really good and tight. Which is again to hold the detail. And the reason we don't use plastic is plastic sweats. And we'll seal the moisture in and keep it from drying nice there we go yeah, well, like I said we're going to re-room our whole thing out there's not a lot of hair on this this is our early season deer like we told you we use several different brushes you got to use some that can get in between We had a bad hole here, so we uh, fixed it, and that's why I put the super card on because you won't be able to see it at all. That we cut this out and sewed this together, even with that super short hair. You can feel it, but you can't see it. And that's the important thing, not being able to see it. Get this one out. We'll be ready for our epoxy. Oops, don't do that. not to do that that's why I did that to show you what not to do my mentor
Tora's wife, she just rips these things out in one swoop somehow. I don't know how she does it, but I can't do it. Helps to know where you put them in so you can take them right out. Okay. What we can do now is first blow it off, and then we're going to epoxy it. And then I think we'll go into the painting on the next one. 